Hello, everyone. Thanks for logging on to CBSColorado.com. Time now for a few extra minutes with head coach of your Denver Pioneers hockey squad, David Carl, ahead of the frozen face-off semifinals against St. Cloud State. Going to be a great matchup, great showdown. Uh, DC, you were talking a lot about how, how you got a young team this year. How do you prepare a younger team with a lot of freshmen for playoffs and for that mentality as opposed to regular season? Yeah, I think a lot of it... Um falls truthfully on our leadership group and and they've done an excellent job um here over the last uh, you know six to eight weeks and i think what's also prepared us is you know we've been in a home ice battle i mean we were fifth in our conference at yeah. one point in january and february and um so we we feel like we've been playing the level of desperate hockey needed um, to have success in playoff hockey uh for a number of weeks and, and months now so I think that's really helped our group. Uh, we faced a lot more adversity in the second half um, this year than maybe we did a year ago. And so I just think our group is is very prepared. They're, they're focused and, and we've been talking a lot about it and they've been executing as if we are in playoff hockey um, for the last, like I said, six to eight weeks. So combination of all those things and has it been perfect by any stretch? No, but we are getting better and uh, we've seen the improvement that, that gets us excited for what we can do um, the next month. You know, it's a quick transition, obviously, then from the conference tournament into the NCAA yep. tournament. So I'm curious, how do you look at this? I mean, is this a championship on its own? Is this a tune-up for the NCAAs? How do you look at the frozen face-off? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I think every year is a little bit different um, in in kind of our our mental approach i would say a year ago it it felt more because of our illness our injury it felt more like let's get guys back in get their you know get their feet wet we we didn't play great in the game and i, I don't think we had a lot of confidence going into the cornell game uh rewind it a year prior we lose um in the same event in the same game to, to minnesota duluth but uh, you know it felt like we we were playing to win we were playing much better it was a it was a really hard firm game and i thought a good wake-up call for us um, going into that Loveland Regional and, and eventually propelled us um, to beating Lowell and, and Duluth and getting to the Frozen Four. So every year is different. I think this year's team with the youth, we have to be willing to match the desperation level of, of a team like St. Cloud who's trying to win uh, to keep their playoff hopes alive, their, their NCAA tournament hopes alive. And um, for that, we're, we're certainly going there um, with a full intent of, of trying to learn how to win a trophy and um, how to learn how to beat a really desperate hockey team that, um, that that is very good. So that's a bit of our approach this year. Um, whether we win or we lose, we, we'd like to win, but we'd like we want to play well. That's that's the most important part um, of this weekend coming up with where we're at on the inside of the pairwise picture and in the national tournament picture. I love it. Last one I got before I send you, uh, let you go. We talked about some of, the, some of the key players, but I didn't get to Sean Barron's during the show, and you talk about this young decor. So what has it meant to have him up for defensive defenseman uh, of the year and kind of one of the leaders in what is a younger decor? Yeah, he's he's done a nice job. Him and Shai Booyam uh, were freshmen on our championship team two years ago at, you know, with Jack Devine and in that group and and now all of a sudden they're they're kind of the veteran guys and it, it goes quick how fast that happens and um you know been really impressed with sean's game um the last four to six weeks think that he is elevating you talk about how do you teach these guys to be ready for playoff hockey well leadership group and, and veteran players and i think sean is really um led in the right way on the back end with how to firm his game up and do the little things that is required to have success um, when the margins are so slim against excellent teams this time of year. Well, DC, thank you so much for taking the time. I know it's a busy time of year. We appreciate it so much. Thank you for having me. And Thanks we so much. Can't wait for Friday night, 6.30. Denver Pioneers taking on St. Cloud State in the semifinals of the Frozen Faceoff. Don't miss it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.